Hello and welcome to my sale. I'm going to be having vintage art books, instructional art books, and new sealed puzzles. So I'm going to start with the art books. This one is My Adventure in Europe. Although they're not specifically dated, from what I can tell from some of the clues in the books, they're either from the late 50s or early 60s. So here, this is the first one. This is um, by Mary Hicks. And so all of these are instructional art books with kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the images. So this one is in Europe. And there, oh, there's a little map in here. Oh, here we go. So there is a map that shows where in Europe. And just a wonderful little instructional booklet. This is going to be $3. And it is number one. Okay, the next one is how to mix colors and materials to use. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is by Walter Foster. And I'll show the back also, which has got a great little guide to how much. So again, here's a nice instructional with a different... Um, subject matters and then in the back here really in depth with the color and how to mix so this booklet is going to be three dollars and it is number two next is the magic of oil painting this one is by w alexander And again, there are wonderful step-by-step -step instructions how to create these beautiful looks. This one is all on oil painting. And I'm just skimming through some of the pages. There are about 40 pages in these little booklets, some of them a little more. This one happens to be 40, but you can see really nice step-by-step -step instructions. This one is going to be $3, and it is number three. This one is How to Do Still Life by Leon Franks. So it's really neat that there are actual artists that take on a subject matter. So again, just going through the pages, but you can see really nice step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these images come to life. This one is still life and it is going to be three dollars and it is number four. The next one is also by Leon Franks and this is fruits and vegetables. So really nice, which colors to use, how to map the artwork on the pages, and how to do fruits and vegetables. This one is going to be $3, and it is number five. This one, Outdoor Sketching, Indoor Painting. This is by Eugene Franzden. Or Friend, Friend Zen. There we go. I'll get that right. So beautiful coloring. Lots of instructions. How to capture outdoor images. Uh, this one has about 30 pages, so it looks like they're ranging between maybe 30 and 40, maybe 40 plus pages, but beautiful illustrations in here. 
This one is going to be $3 and it is number six. Okay, Painting for Pleasure by Merlin, oh boy, Anibnet, Anibnet. <laughs> so I like how you get to see all of these different artists' painting styles. Again, really nice step-by-step -step instructions, colors to use. And this one is Painting for Pleasure. This one is going to be $3. And it is number seven. Okay, same artist. I'm not going to butcher that last name again. Uh, this one is How to Color in Portraits. So you can see we've got some nice examples of how to do portraits and how to use different shading techniques and coloring techniques. How to turn a photograph into a portrait and colors to use. Now the one on the back, whoa. <laughs> Lots of colors on that one. Lots of shadows too. So this one is how to color in portraits. Three dollars. And it is number eight. All right, then we're on to seascapes. This one is, yeah, how to draw and paint seascapes by Walter Foster. So again, really nice step-by-step -step instructions on how to create and color different seascapes. Oh, the one on the back is the same as the one on the front. This one is going to be $3 and it is number nine. Okay, this one is Painting of the Sea. Oh, uh, Frederick, oh, Waz. 60 full color reproductions in here. Uh, so this one is more of um, existing photos of the sea that they're giving you in here, I guess, so you can see different examples by different artists on how they capture different aspects of the sea. These are almost frameable as is. Beautiful illustrations in here. And I was gonna see if it had who did these? Um, nope, it does say the name of the painting and how big it is, but I don't necessarily see other than maybe it just being all by that artist. Um, yeah, it does mention uh, Mary Dyke. And, oh, maybe those are the people who helped uh, photograph all of these images. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful paintings that are already done that you can get inspiration from and see different aspects of how to paint the sea. This one is going to be $3 and it is number 10. Or the photos in here are so nice that you could actually frame them, all ready to be framed. Uh, so this is a different style book. This is the art of oil painting. Uh, it does also have great examples in here, wonderful step-by-step -step 
to capturing different aspects, a little bit of portraits in there. So this one is all on oil painting. I'll go through and see if we can grab a few other ones. Oops. So all on oil painting. This one is a little larger. No, I don't see page numbers. It feels a little heavier, like there might be 40 to 50 pages in this one. But it is going to be $3, and it is number 11. There is another one in the same, uh, same company. This one is The Art of Drawing. So it feels also that it has about the same number, maybe 40 to 50 pages. So this is all on the art of drawing. Let's see if we can get a few more, a few different pages, there we go. So really nice how-tos and capturing movement, portrait faces, animals in motion. So all on the art of drawing. This one is going to be $3 and it is number 12. Okay, the next one, and this is the last one of the art books. Uh, this one is by Lola Aids. This has got a lot of frameable art in it. Again, I have some of these. A lot of these are full color pages. Look at that, all of those little ovals. So this is full of very frameable beautiful floral artwork. So this one is Flowers and Designs to Copy is the name of this one. Um, but it has just got a lot of exceptionally beautiful art that is ready to be framed. So I'm gonna flip through some of these pages. You can see it is beautiful. So for this one, um, it's going to be $8 for this one, um, just because it is full of so much beautiful frameable art. So $8 on this book and it is number 13. <coughs> Okay, so that is the last of the art books. Now I'm going to move on to the puzzles. Now all of these puzzles are still sealed. They have not been opened. Uh, they are all going to be $10 and they are between 1,000 and 1,500 um, pieces. So the first one up, this is Hometown Collection. And it is called the Grand Peacock Hotel. So right there is the Grand Peacock Hotel. This one is so fun. Very 1920s. Look at that little poodle, Dalmatian. So this one is a thousand pieces. And it measures uh, 19 inches by 27 inches. 19 by 27 completed. It is still sealed. This one is going to be $10. And it is number 14. Okay, this one is by Bits and Pieces. It is 20 by 27 inches, and it is a thousand pieces. And it is called, there is a name on here, uh, it's called The Garden. 
So there we go. A cute couple in a beautiful floral garden. This one is still sealed in plastic. And let's see, somewhere on here, here is the artist on that one. So by bits and pieces, thousand pieces, 20 by 27 inches. This one is going to be $10 and it is number 15. Okay, another one by bits and pieces. This one is also a thousand pieces and it is 20 by 27. This one has a very Thomas Kincaid feel to it. See if I can get that without too much glare. Uh, the artist on this one is, uh, there we go. So this one again, a thousand pieces, still sealed in plastic, 20 by 27 inches. And it is, oh, did I say what it was called? Uh, Renaissance is the name of this one, Renaissance. And it is $10, number 16. All right, another thousand piece puzzle. Still sealed in plastic. This one is called Boston Commons Picnic. It is also by Bits and Pieces. This one measures 24 by 24 inches. Cute little ducks in the corners here. This one is still sealed in plastic, 24 by 24, 1,000 pieces. This one is going to be $10 and it is number 17. Okay, next is another, oops, I'm gonna put that over here. <laughs> next is another thousand piece puzzle. It is by Springbok. Beautiful balloons on this one. And as you can imagine, it is called Balloon Fest. This one measures 24 by 30 inches. Great colors on this one. Still sealed in its original plastic. 1,000 pieces, 24 by 30 inches. And that is the over 57 years. I don't know when this one came out though. <laughs> Can't base it off of that. So this one is going to be $10 and it is number 18. All right, another one, th oh no, this one is a 500 piece. Okay, this one is a 500 piece puzzle. Look at this beautiful girl. Uh, this one is a portrait of Effie. And it says it was done by Marie Stillman. Uh, she's a British artist. And she lived from 1844 to 1927. And this is a 500 piece puzzle that measures 18 inches by 24. So 500 pieces, 18 by 24, portrait of Effie. And this one is going to be $10 and it is number 19. Okay, next is the children's store. 
by John Siri Lester. It is 1,000 pieces. It is 20 by 27. And the detailing on here is so great. Let me get over here. So just to see, we have the background girl being measured, all of the clothes in the background. Really fun detailing for the children's store. This one again is a thousand pieces and still sealed in its original plastic. It is 20 by 27. And this one is $10. And it is number 20. All right, then we're going up to 1,500 pieces. So this one is a bit larger. It is called Balloon Glow. Beautiful with the balloons. And again, a really nice little cottage scene with a river and the beautiful reflections. So this one is 1,500 pieces. It is 33 by 24, so it is a little larger, still sealed in its original plastic. And this one is going to be $10, and it is number 21. Okay, then I have a Ravensburger puzzle. This one is 1,500 pieces. Uh, the box is not sealed, but on the inside, it still has the original bag of pieces that is sealed. All right, so this one measures, uh-oh. Okay, it's telling me how big it is in centimeters. Okay, uh, so it is 84 by 60 centimeters. I unfortunately cannot convert that quickly in my head. However, I would imagine it's probably pretty close to this one, which was 33 by 24, since they are the same. Looks like about the same kind of shape. So I would think that that's probably going to be semi-close. 1,500 pieces. This one is called Church in the Mountain. So Church in the Mountain. Fifteen hundred pieces. It is still sealed. <coughs> the bag of puzzle pieces still sealed on the inside. This one is going to be ten dollars, and it is number twenty-two. All right. So that is everything for the art book and puzzle sale. If you are interested in purchasing any of the items shown, just be the first person to put the number that was associated with that item in the comments below. I'll reply back, let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. And any questions you have, please put those in the comments and I will reply back as quick as I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell and change it to all if you want to be notified every time I put out a new video and when I go live for my sales. If you just want some notifications, keep it personalized. And if you want no notifications, you just want to watch when it's convenient for you, change the notification to none and then you won't get any notifications at all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, um, oh, don't forget to join me for my live sales on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.